Yeah. Songwriting and stuff, man. That's uh, that's uh, that's what took me to Nashville. I was in pursuit of a publishing deal, man. I grew up playing bluegrass music. You got any bluegrass fans up there? You got, you got a couple of them. <laughs> I know you're a fan, right? <laughs> no, I, I grew up playing uh, playing the bluegrass circuit for almost a decade of my life in my younger years, and I uh, just really uh really got to a point where I was like, man, I feel like I have something to say myself. And, you know, bluegrass, you play a lot of traditional music, right? You uh, basically doing your own rendition of a song that somebody cut 20 years ago. And uh, as much as I love that, I, I felt the need to uh, get into songwriting and started falling in love with that and uh, piecing together ideas and trying to create something out of nothing. And um, started writing in North Carolina a little bit. Actually, Rob and I, we used to write in my, my dad's workshop. He had a little woodworking shop that he was trying to put together uh, that he did as a hobby and I ended up taking that over and making it into a music room um, got more use out of that but it was, uh, it was such a good time in my life man I'm very thankful for those years but I moved to Nashville to, to write songs and uh, I don't know I moved with uh, just some drive and, and I think I was 20 I was in early mid 20s when I moved to Nashville and I don't know man I feel like uh, I'm thankful for that because uh, I knew what I wanted to do and uh, I didn't waste time going out and uh, partying on the weekends and doing all that. I was I was holed up in my in my studio working on stuff and trying to get better at uh, you know the craft and, and I knew once I moved there I realized how talented everybody was and I was like well I got my work cut out if I want to make this my living so I uh, just really tried to buckle down and, and uh, you know write write some good songs and try to get them heard and. One day I was cutting my grass and uh, had my weed eater going and get a phone call. I usually don't answer if I don't know who it is. I don't know if y'all get spam calls up here, but dude, my phone blows up all day long. And so I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to answer, but thank God I did. And uh, he picked up and he goes, hey man, this is Jason Aldean. I just want to give you a shout. I got your phone number from uh, my buddy Tully. He told me you are writing some stuff, sent me some songs you've written. I really dig what you're doing and I just wanted to reach out to you and you know say hello and uh this is meanwhile I'm, I'm at a dead sprint running back inside to find my roommate so i had a witness uh that it was actually real and uh anyway he ended up uh essentially making me a, a publishing bill offer and uh, one that i couldn't refuse and uh, ended up turning into me me writing this song uh, a couple i guess a couple months later and uh ended up being the number one song on country radio and uh very thankful for this song i always tell everybody i bought a lot of diapers for my little girl so i got a special special place in my heart for this one and uh, hopefully you guys have heard it if you have help me sing it and remember the words please <laughs> 